on what they're gonna do. And sometimes you'll fight enemies that also have the foresight abilities, so they're gonna be able to counteract your foresight, they can blind your foresight, um, and I'm, you know, still in the process of thinking of other ways that that could help you. So, like, if you go and you do a rescue mission, and you know that somebody is going to die, but you can change their fate, mm -hmm. and you can save somebody, then that would be a way for you to get, like, upgrades and bonuses, and you could change, you know, the, the fate of the game, the timeline of how it's being played. If you save somebody, they can be a part of your crew later on, and they could be helpful to you in some way. Oh, that is cool. That if you weren't able to help them. So, um, so the whole premise would be she's on her way back, and then the aliens show up. This guy's trying to kidnap you because he, because you're a, the first human being that has developed this foresight ability, and not many have it. There's something special about you, and you don't know why yet. So this whole storyline was still in development. So then I came up with the whole idea of turning it into like a graphic novel because I photoshopped this dope picture. Oh, that is sick. Isn't that sick? Yeah, it's like the black hole like eating the planet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. So I was like, maybe I should make it like graphic novel. So I presented that to Ethan, and he was like, well, I'm still working on the Catalyst game. And I'm like, you are? What are you doing? He's like, well, I write sometimes, and I add the story. Like, the story's fucking done, dude. It's all done. We can't keep adding some plot. It's going to be crazy. He's like, I don't want another project. So now I'm just developing this story when it comes to me. I'm working on it. Neat. It's sick. That's what I did with the Murden, you know, the Murden story. Is mm -hmm. <laughs> whenever I had an, a new thought or an idea, I would just start writing it down, and then it became next thing I know, I had thirty pages of you know back to front of this story. Mm -hmm. And I have the whole like, <coughs> I'm really into like writing the backstory on it. Yeah. So I have this whole thing about how before the alien warfare took place on Earth, there's um there was this campaign around the world about how we should begin uniting Earth under one flag, you know, and there's obviously just so much complications with that. Um, and then there's, like, it mostly talks about, like, how there's different several several different civil wars that happen in America and then there's this campaign called the mannequin campaign which is another picture that I'm developing and it's I'm proud to be a mannequin and it's like all these mannequin dolls looking all patriotic and everything and it's like Uncle Sam shaking the hand with like this doll oh. you know so uh -huh. it's like I'm proud to be a puppet you know of what these people represent so I'm getting really into, like, the historical, like, backstory of Earth. But it doesn't mean anything to the game. It's just for me. Mm -hmm. So that I can understand what I'm trying to write better. I had an idea that I was working on with Randall. Um, and it's, it's loose, man. I, I really, I was just, it kind of came to me. I was like, oh, this is cool. And I told him about it. And then nothing happened to me. Mm. But, um... Still kind of a thought. It was another game idea. And uh, more or less <clears throat> um, takes place in, should we call it Earth, sure. You know, an Earth-like planet. Um, into a, like a post-apocalyptic apocalyptic planet. Mm -hmm. uh, and <clears throat> these these aliens have come and they've taken over and they're like a, they're like a crystal Kind of, they're made of. Did you ever watch Ben Ten? Yeah. Remember that one guy he could turn in in the first one, maybe a crystally dude. Mm -hmm. Um, 
like that. And I, my thought process was like, there isn't been that many crystal aliens. You got Ben 10 and the one crystally guy in the Green Lantern movie. Mm -hmm. He like fights him for a bit. What's the cast feel? There you go. All right. We'll talk about anyway, um, so yeah, you got these crystal aliens, and what's cool about them is that since they're made of crystal, they're like a sentient, um, you know, sentient crystal. They grow, so if you you can't kill them, because as soon as you manage to break a piece off, that piece just grows into another one. So then there's this girl who is um, like an inventor, kind of like she's a tinker. Teams up with this other guy, um, who's also an inventor, and they come up with like this glove, um, like kind of a steampunky glove thing, and it's powered off of these bad guys. Like if you get a piece of them, you could put the crystal in the, the gauntlet, and it would change the ability. Mm. It doesn't have anything super powerful. Like, I mean, it's like it's not like the ultimate weapon, but basically, it'll work. Um, with zero point gravity, so you can grab something and lift oh, it up cool. and then smash it. Um, and then it can make like black holes and stuff like that. Like small black holes. And uh, so that's how she'd fight him. Basically, she'd have to go. I imagine she'd have to have like another sidekick, sort of. Um, and maybe he gets like a shard stuck in him and becomes half crystal. Mm. So he's like half. And then that allows him to understand the language of the enemy mm. and they'll have to go through portals and but I wanted to make it so she's really human so she has no powers you know what I mean she's squishy otherwise she's not super strong she's not super fast she just has quick wit and she's got this gauntlet and it's really temperamental it only works off of you know pieces of the back and as she uses it it'll burn up the ability so mm -hmm. they're constantly going to have to get pieces of these things of these guys right in order to make them work. Just a thought. It's real loose. That's pretty much all I had. That's really cool. That would be a neat game mechanic, too. Like, you're fighting a dude, and then you collect a piece of him, and then you can, like, you know, if you found a way, you could, like, take the shards of what guy that you killed, and if she was, like, a scientist, and then you could, like, you know, turn it into a different element and then right. put that in exactly. your gauntlet. I was thinking kind of the concept of the plasmids in Bioshock. Um, very similar to that. You know, you would get them and then you would have to, you would have like what we call alchemy. Right. And she has this like ability where she could do alchemy and change depending on what crystals, depending on what bad guys you killed. Um, she could make different versions of these canisters that she could lock into the gauntlet to give it different abilities. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Yeah, I'm really into trying to come up with like weirdo cool game mechanics. Like that. I wrote the story one time and I thought it would have been cool for a game. Way back <coughs> before like in western times before they had like firefighters and stuff. Um, they had these um, things. It was like a lantern f filled with a solution that would was kind of like a fire hydrant where if you douse it on a fire it would absorb oxygen. And so I was like that would be a really cool like little hand grenade type thing. Like a little glass bottle filled with a solution and then there'd be like fire guys and you'd be fighting them and you could kill them without it but if you want to stun people or weaken them throw the solution down at their feet and it would like you know it would sap energy or if there's like a wall on fire you could throw it and the fire would just like, mm -hmm. and just like be gone that's kind of cool what call that bottle the tutu bottle bottle. We call it the toot toot bottle. Toot toot bottle. It gets, makes a vacuum in there as soon as he lets off. It sucks air through the tube. It makes a toot. <laughs> toot! Do it.
Maybe? No. He's not even drinking it. Like, I don't even see anything going up the straw. My mom brought over these trains, and he loves them. That good juice? Thing on. It's been recording this whole time. Since when? Since I got the mic out. When was that? Since you started telling your story about your van. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Well, now I'm self aware. <laughs> it's not going to be the same. There it goes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the boom! <laughs> Pretzel? One more? You need these? Here you go, Bob. Mmm. <laughs> so, yeah. I got, got The Witcher, and The Witcher 2, and The Witcher 3. And everyone's like, oh, The Witcher 3 is so good, man. You gotta play it. And I was like, alright, I'll play it. I'm like, well, I'm going to start with The Witcher and then, you know, go into three. So I know what's going on. These are tr Oh, man. It's probably one of the worst games I've played. And you told me, doesn't it have, like, you go to the skill tree and there's your one thing and there's just, like, a fucking bunch of stuff. Yeah, I'll show like you. it's underdeveloped or something. It's like you have your strength, dexterity, endurance, blah, 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 like normal. Right. And then you have abilities and you have spells. And every single one of those has a massive fucking skill tree. And then you have, like, this live action switch between different stances to fight different enemies. It's just a clusterfuck. I'm not impressed with it. I'm sure if I end up posting this fucking podcast, people are gonna... I mean, if we had people, they <laughs> wouldn't they'd fucking be like, Oh, no, it's such a good game. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's not. Yeah, I'll show you. Load game. I'm sure the story's great. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's got an awesome story. Gameplay sucks. Um, hmm. Let's see how you get to it. Yeah, they have these things. They're like, use it to make your health go up more. So, like, all right, look, just look at this. This alone, active and passive. All right, and then what are phases? Is this a phase? What's P one, three? Oh, from chapters. Okay. What is all this? Glossary. Just tutorials. It's just a lot of stuff. Right. So it's just intimidating right off the bat. Yeah. You don't know what anything is, and they don't explain it. No, not really. Oh, here we go. This is just the strength tree. And look, this is only level one. It goes into different levels. There's more of this shit. And then dexterity's got its own tree. Stamina's got its own tree. Intelligence's got its own tree. Ard, Igniquen, Ixli, Yurden. They have their own trees. <laughs> And then you have these, Silver Sword. I'm guessing you probably get more weapon abilities. And they have their own trees. It's only at level one. Like. It's bad game. And why is this over it? Like, you change, when you equip different things, it changes the look of, if you'd like another pretzel. Oh. And so it's right over the top of my character. So. This is armor, right? This is chest armor. 
Like if I chest armor on, I want to see how cool it makes me look. Mm -hmm. I can't. There's a fucking box in the way. But you could argue, oh, but Jeff, you can just close your inventory and look at your guy. Right. Yeah, but okay, say I have four pieces of chest armor. Does that mean I have to put one on, exit out, look at my guy? Mm, not quite. Open back up, put a new one on, exit out, look at my guy. Yeah. What if your armors have different abilities and you're going into a fight? We're going to want to throw that armor on. Yeah. And you're like, ugh. So. And like, these are the stances. Oh, I can't because I'm not fighting. There you go. So while you're fighting, you have to switch between these different fucking abilities. Depending on what kind of enemy you're fighting. And then you also click on it's a click game. So you, your cursor will change to get like critical strikes, crushing blows and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you have to be watching your cursor the whole time to click when whenever it changes to get that. Mm -hmm. While managing all this other bullshit. What if you played the other one and it's like the same thing? I haven't even put the, played the other one, so... Yeah. What if they're all the same and then people are like, yeah, this is game is dope, this is why we like it, you know? Then you're just gonna not like any of those games. Yeah, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with not liking a game, you know what I mean? It's just, I don't, I don't understand the hype, I suppose, is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Or maybe I'm dumb. I don't know. Maybe I'm bitching about it, but everyone who likes it is like, what's yeah. What's a witcher? Is that why you have white hair? Yeah. Yeah, or he's like a witcher. Like a guy. If you kill witches, you oh. have demons and stuff. Oh. It's got cool cutscenes. You want to make another Assassin's Creed game? Yes. Blows my mind. Unbelievable. And then they got the little spin-offs. Have you seen those where they're like 2D platformers? Mm hmm yeah. Assassin's Creed China. Yeah. I'm about to just play Minecraft for the rest of my life. <laughs> Who's still buying that fucking game? <laughs> Assassin's Creed? No? Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Did you oh, get it? I want to shave my organization of the Mmm. Ooh. This is cool. So this is Bounty Hunters mm -hmm. Guild, right? This is our icon, our emblem that I made. Oh, that's neat. Would you make that in pants or something? Yeah. <laughs> that's super cool. That looks legit. I thought that was part of the game. Um, how do I go to like the legit thing? Saga. Yep. Go to admin. What you made that? Mm -hmm. That thing's dope. Dude. Thank you. So, like, our tagline is run and you're done. Oh, yeah. I wanted to show you this. So, his name slips. I don't know. If, oh, it's too small. It's two girls, one up. Oh. Is that recruitment? So, my recruitment message is if you want to capture or eliminate the scum of the universe, or the, the scum this universe has to offer, then you've come to the right place. I'm trying to find like our little message thing. The manifesto, it's fucking cool. Is that like a skull? 
Yeah. How did you make that? I just reskinned. I looked at skulls. I typed in skulls online. And I typed in 2D skulls, and I found 2D skull. And I typed in um, star badges, and that's it, all I did. And I put it on there, and I went into Photoshop, and then cut stuff out and put it on. Kind of helped me. That's cool. And then I went and found a cor- uh, crosshair, cut it out of something else, and pasted it over the top. That's fucking sick. So here's my charter. The guild operates under these simple rules. Disobey them, and you'll be excommunicated from the guild or worse. Number one, no bounty is worth dying for. Number two, people don't have bounties. Only acquisitions have bounties. Number three, capture by design, kill by necessity. Number four, no hunter shall slay another hunter. Number five, no hunter shall interfere with another's hunt. Number six, in the hunt, one captures or kills, never both. Number seven, no hunter shall refuse aid to another hunter. All right, that was sick. That's super sick. This is what other organizations see when they look into when they like come to look at the my guild. So they look at it and it says, We have no allegiance to any government or any organization. The guild serves only itself and its members. We are a brotherhood and a sisterhood. We stand for ourselves, aimed only to capture our hunt for personal gain and the reputation of the guild. We protect each other and the innocent. We are not killers, though at time though at times taking a life is sometimes necessary. You will know when we are coming for you. Don't run. Because when we catch you, you will be done. Burn. That's cool, dude. I love it. So if somebody surrender, even though they've done a bunch of heinous shit, dude, you can't kill them. No, I'm not going to kill them. I'll still take the bounty, though. I'm still turning their ass in. Yeah, but what if somebody's on your crew someone surrenders and they kill them sometimes you gotta kill someone if they surrender and they kill them then they're fucking gone then I'm gonna put a bounty on their head that's then what I'm saying dude. you gotta stand for something I just like I feel like it's legit like I feel like what I have going here is legit and I don't know why we don't have more people Oh, well, I gotta just sign up, dude. Yeah. What is it to sign up? It's like five bucks, right? I think it's fifteen now. It goes on sale though pretty often. But yeah, I just wish more people would be on there. Like if you look at some of the other I probably should like check to make sure yeah, no one's applied. If you look at the other organizations, like some of them have like seventeen thousand people in them. They have cool stuff. Descendant Mining and Security <coughs> Consortium. Like, that's theirs. Ministry of Defense Service. Heavy Industries. Like, some people have some fucking cool emblems they made. Universal Transportation and Exploration. So, uh, people got some cool fucking names. And you click, look at their members. Oh, these, they only have 20 members in theirs. Huh. This guy's picture. They photoshopped his head over a suit. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, what the fuck? <laughs> Some weird guy with an elbow. <laughs> That's what our picture has. <laughs> I'm just gonna make my own so I can do that. Hmm. Oh wow. Looking at like everything they've accomplished. Where are they at right now? Over 65 million.
That's how much they've raised so far. My god. Oh, there you go. So they have raised 84 million right now. They almost have a million people. It's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, dude, the Bounty Hunter's Guild. Yeah, the Bounty Hunter's Guild. Like, that's what's crazy. Like, I have a legit name. A legit manifesto. I don't know why. I don't know why I don't have more people. With that many people, you'd think they'd be searching around to figure you out. Know, <laughs> oh, yeah. It's five bucks. Five dollars for Arena Commander. And then... Forty... I don't know. Let's go to the game packages. Yeah, I should get a package. Yeah, because it comes with the game. <laughs> and then you get everything else for free for the rest, because you're a pledge at that point. Yeah. Dude, let's put in... Let's get this one. The completionist? Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> it's all the ships. Forever. With lifetime insurance. That's epic. And you get to chill with um, Chris Roberts, the maker. Huh. So you could throw up, looks like the cheapest one, 30 bucks for the Aurora, also known as the Space Day. I'll probably get a better one than that. If I'm willing to spend 60 bucks on a game, I'll get one of those like $65 packages. Um, the Mustangs are really popular. These. Mm. I flew, um, the Omega. Or the Delta. I flew the Delta. I really liked it. Um, and the Cutlass is really popular, too. Cutlass. It's a you know, more money. Right. Um, the Avengers neat. It's got a big fucking gun right on the front of it. And it's fast it as cool. shit. You have one. You want another? You want two? There you go. He keeps feeling the squishy on this. I got this in my loot crate. That's awesome. I think that one looks like a big dick, too. This is the <laughs> ship that Randall and I were talking about going halvesies on. Huge fucking gunship. Yeah. Can hold. I think it holds like ten soldiers in it too. It's a transport. So now it's a gun, like it's fucking armed to the teeth. But then you can fly in and let all your friends out if it takes something out. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna have like crews of hunters? Yeah. Or can we send? Can we send a hunter out with a crew? Yes and yes. Okay. How I want to do it is I want to have a collective, basically. Say we end up getting, say we end up getting like 65 people, right? At any one time, right, we're going to look up on the bounty sheet, and we're like, all right, we got this guy, we got this guy. We'll find out how dangerous he is, what, you know, what galaxy he's operating in, what he's doing. If he's, you know, not that dangerous, then one guy can go out and take him out. Not a big deal. And his winnings, his earnings are his own. The guild is going to be more or less like a union, if you really want to think of it that way. We support ourselves. Right. And we work for each other. <laughs> so, like, you go out and you go take a guy out, and you, you, you don't die, but he ends up really fucking hard. You can be like, hey, this motherfucker is more trouble than he's fucking worth. I'm going to need some more guys on this. And, like, in the manifesto, it says that if a hunter asks for aid, you have to give it to him. It's mandatory. You don't decline, a, you know, a request. So then, you know, you get five, six more guys. Who knows what ships they have? They could have, you know, the bigger gunships. You're going to have to develop some kind of a court trial system for people that are having problems with one another. Like, oh, I'm not help I want to be a part of this guild, but I'm not helping that asshole. Or if you have problems with something. The rule's set. If he asks for help, you help him. Yeah. I don't care about your personal feelings. 
I'm kind of basing it off the Bounty Hunters Guild in Star Wars. It works the same way. Like, Bosk, who is Boba Fett's, like, big enemy, like, they're, fuck they're enemies, they're rivals. But if one needs help, I mean, Boba Fett never fucking needs help. But if he did, like, Bosk would help him out. Or if Bosk needed help, Boba would go and help him out. Mm. Like, that's the rules. They hate <clears> each <throat> other, but they would still help each other out. And I think if I'm going to set up a rule that if you do help someone out, or you have to ask for <coughs> help, you have to give them a fair cut on your earnings. Mm. That makes sense. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. What? Good. What? Make noises. Yeah. So it depends. I was fantasizing the other day about going. Say we had uh, some space pirates, right? And they're like really fucking deadly. They're known to be really fucking deadly. So getting like six guys together, all of them with stealth systems, go and like have another person that's got a transport vehicle and then just drop the transport vehicle off and then get into one of our stealth vehicles, stealth them all over like an asteroid field and just have that big transport vehicle sitting there as bait. Space parts come in, they're like, oh shit, free game. Start to take it over and then like, you're fucked now, dude. Yeah. It set him up. Yeah. But he's like, Show yourselves. You're done. You're done. You're not warping out of here. We fucking you surrender, can't. or you're fucked. Like to add, add insult to injury. Either I'm going to take you, dead or alive, or I'm going to take your ship and you. Mm hmm. So if you want your shit back after you've done your time, I suggest you come quietly. Right. Now how, do you know how that's going to work in the game when somebody goes to jail? No. Because a, police, a policeman's an actual job. I have no idea how it's going to work. Huh. If there's permadeath, so I imagine it might be quite literally like, alright, um, you can't play that character for 72 hours. They're in jail. Or pay the pay bail. Right. What are you doing, hun? Serving my time. <laughs> I gotta do some crunches. <laughs> You've been playing the game for three days. I know. I've got like an eight week sentence. <laughs> so what happens when you commit genocide? It's gonna take a while. <laughs> Food here sucks. <laughs> You can tell my guy doesn't like it. <laughs> what are you doing? You dancing around? You dancing? He's <laughs> got food in his mouth, so the look on his face is. <laughs> he just threw his. There it is. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> He's a kick. Ooh. I'm really excited for what it could become, I guess. Yeah. He's like jokes and he takes all the money and leaves. I think it'd be cool to be in a, a game universe where your your guild is known. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, we need to get the fuck out of here. What the fucking bounty hunter skill is going to be on us? Right. Or like, hey, did you hear? What? They're bringing in the fucking guild. Right. Right. People were like, what? Bounty hunter's guild? 
I heard about those guys. They don't <laughs> fuck around. They called an all-out bounty on this guy and quite literally hired the entire guild to go after him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'd be legit, dude. Or like... Like other people are playing and then all of a sudden you drop in and people notice that it's a bounty hunter. They're like, oh, it's one of the fucking guys, dude. I mean, there's going to be tons of bounty hunters, but to be... I want it to be cool to be a part of the bounty hunter's guild. Yeah. That, and if you do something like that, then people will know it'll be a hub and they'll know where to go to ask for... to go get someone. Because there's going to be dickheads in this game. Yeah. It'll, you know, always. There's going to be trolls. Mm -hmm. they're gonna probably think it's great to go run around blowing fucking newbies out of the sky and taking their ships right. and eventually those newbies are gonna be like I, I need to get rid of them they're like easy just go to the bounty hunters killed ask them for help they'll go get them yeah well if they don't have any money to pay us with they'll pay us in something else <sighs> what do you got yeah what do you got nice I mean, trade, it's good, the entire economy is going to be player made. So, uh, say they'll have precious metals, you know, like palladium or something like that. You're like, well, palladium's uh, a couple thousand a pop. Do you know anyone who can do any mining? No? Alright. Well, here you can smuggle it on this planet. You do that, and we get all the money. Consider it done. Mm -hmm. It reminds me that um, I think I, I I read a thing where like Bethesda says that you can actually pay for Fallout 4 in bottle caps. Yeah, I think it's a rumor. Is it? I'm not sure. And I think it's a rumor because there was two hundred. There was it's a lot. There's a lot of bottle caps. It might be true. What I do know is IGN released an article, um, I think a week ago or two weeks ago, of a guy sent in a FedEx box filled with bottle caps to pre-order his Fallout 4. And they were like, that's fucking cool. I think so. I don't. I didn't like read the article, I just saw the little So like, they're just gonna, they'll tag. probably do it for that guy, because he thought of it first. And that's funny. <laughs> Someone's opening that box like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> a little note in there. I want my copy. If you want <laughs> I have paid you. Probably. Which adds up. I mean, depending on how many bottle caps he sent him. What's a pop? Like a buck fifty? For a bottle. Yeah, probably. You know? Beer? Whatever he else Games can't just be doing that. Next thing you know, you know, Bloodborne 2 is going to be coming out. People are going to send boxes of, like, blood vials in. Yeah. <laughs> Or however you make a blood echo. <laughs> Just a box. I have sent you the head of my of my prize piglet. <laughs> I need my copy of Bloodborne, dude. It's like a box full of like dead rabbits and stuff like that. And I'm like, what's this? And it's like, <clears throat> I did a ritual. The souls are still trapped. Is that enough souls to get Dark Souls three? End of souls. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't get the DLC. <laughs> and then they're just gonna get a box of shit. Like human shit. And they're gonna be like, what's this? And they're like, I didn't like your game. I don't want it. That and start paying for games and game currency. Yeah, dude. <laughs> People send in rupees and <laughs> that they cut out. <laughs> hmm. What you doing? Eating pretzels? Yeah. 
Ah, oh, man. Really cool. Also, I think it's neat. This is something little, but I think it will be cool. Is there is a command while you're flying your ship to set it on autopilot and then look around in your cockpit and emote. Mm -hmm. You can do like thumbs up or middle finger or whatever you want to do. So I think what would be cool is say like Randall or you or someone's flying in, we're in the same, or I realize we're in the same like galaxy or flying next to each other. I want to be able to fly upside down above someone and then look look down at them and like wave. <laughs> Eat my space dust, asshole. Or shoot, like, come up and see your friend. Just shoot him a couple times. His shield will absorb it, so it's not like he'll take real damage, but just enough to make him go, What the fuck? Uh -huh. yes. Incoming message. What's up, dude? going for almost an hour now.